Hey, welcome everyone. Thank you for taking time and initiative to learn this exam AZ900, which is Microsoft Azure Fundamentals exam series. My name is Sushant Sudesh and I'm your instructor for this examination series. I work as a cloud solutions architect for a leading distributor. I'm certified at an expert level on both Microsoft 365 and Azure. Let's look at the study areas for this exam. There has been some recent changes to AZ900. Microsoft have removed the Azure support from the last module and introduced something new called Service Level Agreement and Azure Lifecycle. The audience for this course is just beginning to learn about cloud computing and how Microsoft Azure provide that services. There are no prerequisites for this course. However, Students with some sort of an IT knowledge and experience will find these concepts easier to understand. This course maps directly to exam AZ900, which is Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. These percentage indicate the relative weight of each area on the exam. The higher the percentage, the more questions you are likely to see on that area. As we discussed, there are four modules in this examination series. In the first module, which is cloud concept, you will learn general cloud computing concepts, why cloud services, types of cloud models, types of cloud services, and then we'll follow up with a module one review question as well. Third module, it's all about learning security, privacy, compliance, and trust with Microsoft Azure. In that module, we will dive deep into how to secure your network connectivity, core Azure identity services, security tools and features, how can you use Azure governance methodologies, how to use Azure monitoring and reporting, privacy, compliance, and data protection standards. In module two, <clears throat> in module two, we will learn about core services available within Microsoft Azure. We will go through core Azure architectural components, identify some of the core Azure services and products, Microsoft Azure solutions, how can you manage Microsoft using various tools available. And again, we will go through some module to review questions. And the final module, which is the new module within this whole exam series, some of the learning objective for this module are Azure subscriptions, planning and managing cost, Azure service level agreements, service lifecycle within Azure, and again, we will go through the module review questions and answers. Some of the exam basics you need to be aware of if you are trying to sit for a Microsoft exam for the first time. When you sit for the exam, you are very likely to get questions between 40 to 60. Some of these questions worth more than one point. There is no penalty for guessing, so I encourage you to answer all the questions. You can review some of the questions so that you can always go back after you completed a particular section. In total, you would be getting 180 minutes. So plan accordingly, time for answering and then reviewing and commenting and reporting, etc. There are more than just multiple choice questions. Sometimes you have to match the following. Sometimes it can be a hot area. There may be an active screen where you have to drag and drop, etc. I don't think you are going to get case studies on AZ900 and MS900 because both are foundational or fundamental exams. But if you are going to sit for AZ104 or MS101, MS500, definitely expect case studies on those exams as well. Now let's go and look at how to schedule an exam. And especially if you are trying to sit for a Microsoft exam for the first time, this is going to be a very good information for you. 